Hello, I'm Jeff Varney with APQC and I lead our process management and improvement practice. Our process efforts really take two forms at APQC. Uh, the first is our process research and then the second is the application of that research working one-on-one -on -one with organizations that come to us for assistance. APQC's process research works with organizations that are leading the industry with demonstrable results, tangible results that drive value within their organizations. Our focus there is to really uncover what's made them successful. And what we've uncovered over time is that there are really seven key characteristics that are common among leading organizations. And we call these the seven tenets of business process management. The first tenet is alignment with your organizational strategy and goals to ensure that your process efforts really fit and help to drive overall performance. Second comes governance, process governance in particular, and how you've established the framework and the support infrastructure to ensure that process can be successful. Third comes the process characteristics and structure, making sure that you define them in a consistent fashion and that they fit together and work together for you. Fourth then comes the overall deployment and awareness, training, education, and support so that your workers can be successful using process. That's really followed by what's critically important, which is being able to measure your performance within processes and the maturity of your process capabilities, which is then leading into the sixth tenant, which is process improvement and prioritizing the next steps you take, where you improve, to ensure that you're really getting the value from each new initiative. Process improvement is really driving towards a prioritized set of actions that are focused on the right next steps, ensuring that the money you spend, the critical resources, have the return that you need. They're driving value for your organization. And then finally, there's the tools, the technologies, the automation enablers that make your processes more effective and enable your people to actually realize the benefits, simplify their jobs, and drive more value, more productivity. So with the insights that we have in hand, those seven tenets of BPM, what we do is we work with organizations often to help them apply them, to see where they are today, to understand the common framework that these seven tenants establish, and then determine the steps that they need to take to really build out a structured, balanced approach which is going to give them that sustainable or long-range benefit from process efforts and really avoid one of the most critical challenges we see organizations trying to overcome, and that is really building the support and a sustainable approach for the future with their process efforts. Recently, we had a client that came to us with that challenge in mind because they had gone through several failed attempts to really establish a strong process capability. And the failures really resulted from the fact that while they had great intentions and some super people focused on the efforts, they didn't have a view of the overall approach. So what we've done is sat down with them, brought their leadership to a consistent level of understanding that they need this balanced approach, building some infrastructure, building some tools, having the governance and oversight, and a consistent way to actually define and apply their processes. And then, with that in mind, knowing where they're at, where they want to go, putting together a step-by-step -step approach, really guiding them on a journey to get process capability. As we work with organizations, what we find is they're all unique. But at the same time, they have those same common goals, challenges, obstacles to overcome, or barriers that are in the way of progress. So what we do is we work with them to understand, as we talked about with the client example, where are they today? what are the key things that they should accomplish next, and then identifying a way to build some infrastructure but demonstrate that early success that gets excitement, gets them on that journey, and then allows them to justify moving forward, achieving those greater results through greater capability. At APQC, when we engage with our clients, we're a trusted advisor. We don't have a previous agenda. We don't have a technology or vendor tool in mind. We have the knowledge of best practices globally. And what our mission is, is to help them apply that, to learn what we've learned and put it into practice and realize the benefits. And that will take a different form with each client, but there's still that common thread, those tenants that I mentioned earlier that can be applied. It's a framework, and we can help them to apply that to benefit. What excites me most about my work at APQC is working hand-in-hand -hand with organizations and seeing them adopt these practices, apply them, and really get the results. They're learning their knowledge, their excitement as they see that it does make sense. It's actually quite simple when you really step back and look at it through a different lens. So helping them to achieve success and seeing those successes is just tremendously fulfilling.